Yo, yo, yo. What to do, everybody? Hope everybody having a good night out there. All right, today's video is going to be about, uh, well, first off, I got requested for the, uh, somebody requested for me to do a video on this topic. And shout out to you. Is uh, my co-worker, cool people. Uh, well, he wanted me to do a video about why people cherish you in death but treat you like shit while you alive. Man, that, that's some deep, that's some deep, deep shit, though. <laughs> that shit, though, that, that's right up my alley, though. All my life, people been treating me a certain type of way. But I already know when I die, everybody gonna make it seem like, I'm, you know, they, they love me then. Everybody gonna, they ain't gonna give me my flowers while I'm here. I know that shit. And so I've been thinking about it. And the first thing that came to mind when I thought about this is <clears throat> it's, it's all about image. I swear it's all about image. Just like with a lot of people that I know, I didn't have people treat me a certain type of way behind closed doors and around certain people. But when we go out in the public, they pretend like everything all good. They pretend like they love me so much. You know, I didn't even had, I didn't even seen a, I didn't heard a motherfucker say, man, I love, I love that motherfucker, man, I love him, I love him, all this and that. And once we got along, I tried to do something as simple as talk to the motherfucker. Motherfucker wouldn't even talk to me. Double because he got what he needed out of that situation. He needed to make it seem like he was a good person and make it seem like, you know, he, he a, so, so, he love you, he, he a lovable fucking person, you know. Motherfucker got so much love to give. Just make it seem like they good people. It's all about uplifting their own fucking image. You know, like these old women in churches, an old lady die, they come into church and pretend like they just so cool with the motherfucker knowing damn well they ain't been liking each other for the past 20, 30 years, you know. It just, it's a chance for people to make it seem like, to, to uplift their own image, you know. Just like if a fake motherfucker came up to me right now and tried to show me love. Man, you fuck you. You better get the fuck out my motherfucking face. You know, because I know you fake. And you know I ain't falling for that bullshit. You know, I'm going to tell them off right then and there. That's why I don't have too many people outside of friends and family just walking up to me showing me fake love. Because the first time that shit ever happened, I almost slapped shit out of me. And so, when you when I'm dead, though, oh, man. When I'm dead, all, all these fake friends and family members, they going to show so much love, man. It remind me of this song that I was working on. And I'm gonna try to make this video short. It's cold as hell. Uh, but it reminds me of this song I was working on. Fake love. You think they with you, but they not. You been going through a lot and they just watch that shit ain't love. Just so it's no mistake in me. Keep that shit away from me. My heart is aching and it hate love. Damn, I hate to say it, but I bet they'll love me when I'm dead shaking my head. You too late, love. <laughs> For real. Fake love, man. That's all this shit is. Fake love. They do that shit for image. It's all about their fucking image, man. And so, with me, I never cared about the fucking image. You know, I ain't never really too much cared about death. Not until it really happened to somebody real close to me. And even then, it's like, it is what it is. Death is a part of life. So, you got to get over it. It's going to hurt. Yeah, it's going to hurt. Get, get the tears out, all that. It's a part of life. But the best thing you can do is just remember those people. But, the problem with this is, you got a lot of people... Who knowing damn well they get to talk shit about people while they're alive. They get to treat you like shit while you was alive. But when 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 people die, all of a sudden they loved you so much. They they cherished you. And black people got a real so like a real bad problem with this shit, man. I done seen this shit happen so many times with family members, all type of shit. People pretend like they love your ass when you dead, man. When you dead, you know why? It's another reason why you worth more dead than alive in their eyes. You worth more dead than alive in their eyes. Most, most of your friends and family members already see you as a burden. You know, that's just the truth. Most of these niggas already see you as a burden. Yeah, every time you come around, it's like, for one, who knows, you might be in a fucked up situation where you might need money or you might need food. So they already thinking about that every time you come around. Or if not that, you, you might, just the exchange of energy might be a burden on them. Because you might be a person like me. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm a spiritual giant. I got a, a strong light emitting from my soul. And so whenever I'm around these uh, people who are supposed to be my friends and family members, when you shine a light on the darkness, oh, man, you exposing all type of shit going on around them. Inside of their own soul, they, they, they feel, they start to feel inadequate within themselves just because you around. And so I already know if I was to die, these motherfuckers, whew, you know, they relieve, you know, because now... They can they can make it seem like this burden, this thing, this 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 person in our lives that was just we just really it was all known that we really didn't like his ass. He gone and so fuck it, it is what it is. And but we gonna make it seem like we really love that motherfucker. Post all type of baby pictures, you know, all type of shit. But uh, yeah, they they don't like what's inside of you, and they look at you a certain type of way. Because of what you have inside of you, they may look at you as a burden. They may look at you as a threat. You know, they may, and and when I say threat, because and that's another reason why they cherish you while you did secrets. Like I said, you can't do shit when you did. You can't defend yourself. You can't do shit. You know, so you no longer a threat. You no longer a threat when you did, man. So like you ever seen in a movie, say for instance, some. Uh, it's like way back in the king days when they had kings and queens and shit. Uh, the king beefing with this king, he go send a spy to go kill the. Uh, they everybody thinking they cool. Like I said, the image, you know, they had that image like everything is cool, but they really had a disagreement with each other. One king go backstab the other, send some out of uh, uh, like an assassin or something, go take out that king, and then he gonna come back. The the king that just sent the the hit. He'll come to their kingdom and make it seem like he all said and giving his gratitude and all this type of shit. He got to make it sure his image is still, you know, people still looking at him like he a good person. And so, at the end of the day, what could it, what could they have been beefing over? They know shit. They know information that other people don't know. Because that, because why just kill him? Why not just go to war with the kingdom? Because the, the other king, only the other, other king knew, the, knew about this shit. You know, or maybe it could have been over uh, land or whatever. But at the same time, there's still information. There's still secrets. One king wants something and the other king don't want to give it up. You know, at the end of the day, everybody full of information and secrets that that's valuable to the next person. You got people. Let me give you an example. You can take a fucking rapist. The fucking the person that uh, they got raped. I go their whole life maybe suffering from the shit. Uh, just all fucked up in the head. Never went to nobody because, you know, they just embarrassed about it. Next thing you know, the, per the person who got raped fuck around and killed himself or something. That rape is, is feeling good. Like, say, for instance, you, know, you never told nobody. It's always been a secret. That motherfucker probably be all up on the page, rest in peace, on the Facebook page, rest in peace, all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, su suicide awareness month. Cause that motherfucker is happy. That motherfucker is happy. All his secrets is safe. And so, that's a lot of way going on too. See, especially with, with kids. See, children children are the keepers of the secret in the black community. I got that from Thomas Sotomayor. Y'all need to go check him out. Children are the keepers of the secret. So, when you grow up, and you got all these secrets of your friends and family members, same time since people getting raped, people getting molested, People getting beat on, abused. You got all this information in your fucking head. It's enough to take down their king. You know what I'm saying? And so, it's more than enough for them, for them motherfuckers to want to kill you. So, of course, if you fuck around and die some type of way, they going to uh, they, they gonna love that shit. They going to love it. And they got to make it seem like, like I said, they still got an image to maintain. So, they got to make it seem like they sad about it. When on the inside, really, they happy. All their secrets is safe. You know, their uncle ain't got to worry about Motherfuckers knowing he a fucking pedophile, you know. That uh, that brother ain't got to worry about motherfucker. No, he the fakest motherfucker in the family. All the secrets is safe now, and so <sighs> that's the reason why, man. That's the reason why people cherish you. And like I said, children's are the keepers of the secret. You know, when you when you uh when you a kid, everybody loves you. Everybody loves you. So they 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 give you that same fucking love, and you still that same fucking kid that was keeping all them damn secrets. They, that's why they gotta show you extra love then. They gotta cherish you then. Cause that's who you really is. You the keeper of the fucking secrets. But once you become like me, and you let everything go and you expose shit, like I said, you be looking motherfucker gonna kill your ass. 
But yeah, that's this my that's my thoughts on it though. You know, I'm somebody else out there might have a, a better explanation on it. But it's fucked up what people go through out here, man. It's it, I'm talking about it's fucked up. I'm talking about people got their own family members that talk about them bad. I'm talking about dog their ass. I, I been the, and motherfuckers will sit around and look you in your face and say, I love you. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah, that's even when I'm alive. I, I done had motherfuckers do fucked up shit to me, man. And motherfuckers still tell me, I love you to this day. And the shit evil. If you, tell, if you ask me, the shit evil. These motherfuckers is evil out here. And so y'all got to be safe. Y'all got to be careful, man. And keep these folks secret. Let these motherfuckers know you're going to expose all that shit. I'm telling you, that's why the realest motherfuckers don't have no friends. Really, motherfuckers gonna have an empty ass friend on why? Cause ain't a, he didn't told all the secrets. He he had no secrets to tell. He wasn't being the keeper of the secrets, so ain't nobody had no reason for the show him no extra love. He exposed everything. That's why everybody hate the motherfuckers that's real and that that, is, that expose shit in people. They hate you. They hate your ass because of that shit. That's why people cherish you when you die. So. I know there's a lot of good people that didn't die and people that showed love too. But just like in in life, just everyday life, that one cool motherfucker that's cool with everybody, it's not a good thing that everybody know. Cause that motherfucker more than likely fake as hell. It's the same thing when people die, man. I don't I, I want mind having an empty ass goddamn in front of them. But I ain't, I ain't trying to have no front on anyway. I'm trying to get cremated. But I wouldn't mind if I was to have a front on nobody showed up to the motherfucker. That let me know I did it right. That let me know I finally exposed all you bitches. Alright, so at the end of the day, man, don't trust people. <laughs> Do not trust people. Do not take that that love that they showing you. Man, you look at that shit for uh for what it is. It's just an attempt to get you to look at them in a different way, a different light. The love that you see other people showing people. Most of the time, it's just an attempt to get you know, them, those people to look at them in a different light. Don't get me wrong. Some, some of the love sometimes that people show is genuine. Like, if I show you love, this shit is genuine. This shit is fucking genuine. I ain't doing it because I got secrets and I ain't, I ain't you know, I ain't, I ain't none of that shit. I ain't trying to just keep close tabs on you. When you die, I ain't finna just uh, show you love because... You know, I'm glad you got down gone because all we done been through this and that. I'm glad you didn't tell this and that. No. You die and I show you love, I, I, that mean you was really like, like somebody that really showed me love in life. Real love. Never crossed me. Shit like that. Yeah, I don't show fake love, man. I despise fake love. But that's all that shit is. People cherish you when you dead. Hate you while you're alive. Most of the people that live in that type of life, they was feel they, they got nothing but fake love their whole life, man. Fake love. You think they with you, but they not. You been going through a lot, and they just watch that shit. Ain't love. Man, that shit is not love, cuz. And fuck love anyway. Who needs love? Focus on loyalty. Fuck all that. Uh, Everybody showing this and that person love. Look, look at King Von. Everybody showing his ass love. Look, 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 look where he at. Man, fuck all that love, man. He did, and people still disrespect his ass. Even people close to him. So, you know, it is what it is. All right, now I said I was going to keep this video short. I'm going on 14 minutes now. About to go ahead. Probably got another video headed y'all way after this. I said, go get something to eat. Take my ass to sleep. Peace.